Hi dear audience, <coughs> today we are going to discuss the Taylor series. The Taylor series states that if we have a function that is not an index polynomial function, we can change it to an index polynomial function using the Taylor series. For example, if we have a function f of x, let's say cosine x all square and we want to change it to a polynomial index function within a given range to find an expression for this curve if we know the value of the function at L and we want to know its value at X or a relation holding this curve from L to X so we just the expression would be just f of x plus l the value of the function at x this is the meaning of f of x plus l would be equals to f of l plus the differential of the function at l into x minus l this is it is simply a distance x minus l which is this distance over factorial 1 plus the differ second differential of the function at L and this, that, that same distance x minus L all square over factorial 2 notice here this is square and this is to the power 2 and this is 2 factorial the th third differential of the function at L and the cube of the distance between L and x over factorial 3 and so on till the nth differential the more the differentials the terms you build by differentiating and squaring this distance x minus l and the factorial in the denominator the more you get accurate results for the value of the function at x now is there is a restriction yes there is so long you have a smooth curve you don't cross if you try to find the value of the function here for example at this point it would be a bit wrong or, or a bit, perhaps a bit too much wrong do not cross a peak if you want if you have the uh, to find the value between the peak here and the peak here there you can get a correct result but don't cross the peak between two peaks you'll get a correct result but don't cross a peak or a turning point rather so that uh, the restriction or constraint rather so what for if we want to find the value of function here x we simply consider as if our l is at zero and substitute in this above relation f of x plus l so we would obtain f of x is equals f of zero plus f dash of zero where l is zero in this case and the expression takes the form f of x equals f of 0 plus f dash of 0 into x over factorial 1 f double dash of 0 into x square over factorial 2 f triple dash of 0 times x uh, cube over factorial 3 f and so on till the nth as you please to the more you add terms the more you get it the value correct or accurate of the function at x at x or at x in this case if we take our base or our expansion as they say around l now let's take here a function like cosine x all square and let's find its value for example let's take it from the peak till 
a value for example uh, let's take the value of our function at pi over 2 as a test let's try to find of course we know it is equal to uh, 0 let's uh, try to find the value of the function at pi over 2 we know it is equal to 0 it's cosine, cosine x all square it would have the this shape because it's not cosine it's, uh, if it were cosine it would uh, pass below the horizontal axis would have negative value but because it is cosine square it would take this shape of course let's apply the Taylor expanding around the point where the function equals x equals 0 that is theta equals 0 f of 0 equals 1 but this is cosine square cosine square 0 equals also 1 cosine 1 square f dash of 0 equals twice cosine x times the differential of cosine x which is minus sine x this makes minus twice sine x cosine x which is equal to minus 2x that is minus uh, pi sine pi equals 0 of course sine 180 the second differential minus sine 2x would be differentiating minus sine 2x once more it would be minus cosine 2x times differential of this term this, that is 2 minus cosine 2x minus cosine pi over twice pi over 2 the minus cosine 2 pi and so on we'll carry on every time we'll get a more 2 the 2 becomes 4 sine 2x that is 4 sine pi this is all again 0 but this is equals to uh, cosine pi equals to minus 1 and substituting in all these terms we would get that f of pi over 2 equals 1 plus 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 and substituting if we get uh, if we get uh, to the nth, the eight, eighth differential we would have 1 plus 0 minus uh, plus 0 minus uh, plus 8 pi over 2 all to the power 4 over 24 24 that's factorial uh, 4 factorial 5 and so on we would get our value equal to 0 0.01198 uh, that is approximately 0 0.012 nearly approaching 0 we could try m more values here I am warning don't try to obtain a value based expanding from a value where you cross a turning point this would probably surely not probably surely give you give you a wrong result you can take x here 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 anywhere but don't cross the t till the minimum but don't cross a turning point you you can have the l here and the x here but don't cross a turning point here for example I made trials for obtaining sine 5 pi over 4 sine of 5 sine pi over 4 of course sine 5 pi over 4 uh, this is pi plus 1 fourth pi this is uh, equals to uh, 225 actually degrees in the third quadrant in the third quadrant 
and I substituted this is the square of uh, the cosine which is 1 over root 2 would be squaring 1 over root 2 would be 0.5 and I substituted here but expanding around around pi you see because this is pi of pi and the expansion is around around pi and making the, uh, my differential till the fifth uh, differential we obtain the value equals 0.5 uh, but uh, sorry actually I used a, a software but usually if you uh, put the differential uh, expand with the fifth differential you would probably not get 0.5 you would probably get 0.42 six or something like that any one of you wants to have the software for applying the instead of using uh, the tailor i apply the tailor yes in the software but the ready-made software to obtain the expansion of a function using c++ uh, code i can send it to him if he contacts me on my email I hope you found uh, my explanation interesting. Okay, bye dear audience.